John in Halifax, Nova Scotia, up there in the Northern Territories of Canada, writes to me and he says, my soundstage has that depth that you speak about in your videos. Good job, sir. After moving to a new home, my new listening room cancels everything below 50 hertz and has quite the dip around 200 hertz. Sorry about that. As I listen to a lot of DSD, I'm torn on how to tackle the issue. Will room treatment solve this, or will I need an amp with room correction like Anthem ARC or Dirac? Will room correction interfere with the analog signals from my DSD DAC? I don't want to lose the quality of DSD. Well, um, don't worry too much about losing the quality of DSD because by the time your Dirac or your, what else, uh, Anthem, ARC, I'm not sure what that is. Most of that is done after the processing by the DAC. And, and so to have a direct answer to you, no, you can't do anything with DSD to equalize it or to run it through room correction. I mean, you just, you just can't do it. That has to be done in another domain. But worse for you, my friend, is that if you have a suck out, it is very unlikely that room correction is going to fix it. Room correction is really good at fixing bumps to where you've got this woo and, and you have this sound. You can lower it down pretty easily so that the speakers don't put out that sound. But if the room is sucking out bass frequencies or your 200 hertz, that's a problem because even if you jack that up through your speakers to where it's now going like this, it's unlikely that's actually going to do anything other than stress out your amplifier. And the reason is that anytime you have a room suck out like that, it, it does a pretty effective job and increasing the volume on that particular frequency doesn't usually help much. It's not a good strategy. So the strategy you need for everything below, what was it, 50 hertz, is a subwoofer. The reason a subwoofer works is because you can put it in a different part of the room, even if it has to sit, you know, right behind your seat or right in front of you, I mean, wherever, you can get it to work to where it fills in that because it's in a different part of the room. So, for instance, if you have a small room, try putting it right behind you. It's, it, it can be very effective. Just don't turn the frequency up too high. If 50 hertz really is where you are, then you probably want to be at 40 hertz, 40 something hertz, because part of the roll off will cover that. And you don't want to start blending in too much of that frequency over and above that. So that's the cure for that. The 200 hertz, I don't know. You might have to just do that through positioning of listening position and loudspeaker placement. It's about the only thing I can think of because I don't think room conditioning is going to help a whole lot for that. So good luck and hope that helps. Thanks.